Hi, you are welcome on the Continuity Channel. Today I will discuss about the centrifugal pump. It's working, and its types. Are you ready? Let's start on by one. At first we will know about the centrifugal pump. A centrifugal pump is a kinetic type of pump which is used to flow the liquid from one point to another point by pressurizing them. Using centrifugal action and Bernoulli's theorem. Look in the picture. This is centrifugal pump. Fluid enters from the suction side and out from the discharge side. Now, we will discuss about the working principle of the centrifugal pump means, how it works or what is the procedure of working? The basic working principle is that to produce kinetic energy by the action of centrifugal force and then to convert this kinetic energy into pressure energy by reducing the velocity of the flowing liquid according to the Bernoulli's theorem. When the impeller is rotated, low pressure region is created at the eye of the impeller, thereby liquid flow into the impeller through suction pipe. Then the blades of the impeller pushes the liquid outward along the blades at increasing tangential velocity. According to the Bernoulli's theorem, when liquid leaves the tip of the blades its kinetic energy is converted into the pressure head as the liquid passes through the volute chamber to discharge pipe. Now, we will discuss about the advantages and disadvantages of the centrifugal pump. There are various advantages of centrifugal pump, like simplicity, means simple in construction, uniform flow, means liquid is discharged continuously, small flow area is required for its installation and working, low maintenance costs. Now, what are its disadvantages? These are various disadvantages of the centrifugal pump, like, it does not build up high pressure. Not self-priming, air leak on suction side cause much trouble, low efficiency. Now, we will know about the classification of centrifugal pump. There are various types of centrifugal pump as follows. According to types of flow. First, radial floor pump. Second, axial floor pump. And third, mixed floor pump. According to the number of impeller. First single stage pump and second multi stage pump according to the axis of rotation of the impeller shaft. First horizontal pump and second vertical pump according to the specific speed of the pump. First slow speed pump its specific speed lies between 10 to 30. Second medium speed pump its specific speed lies between 30 to 50. And third high speed pump, its specific speed lies between 50 to 80. Here, there is a formula for specific speed. Specific speed is equal to n into root under q divided by h to the power 3 by 4. Where n is rpm of the pump, q is capacity or discharge of the pump and h is head developed by the pump. Now, radial floor pump. What is radial floor pump? In a radial floor pump, the liquid enters at the center of the impeller and is directed out along the impeller blades in a direction at right angle to the pump shaft. This is a radial floor pump. In this diagram, you are looking that liquid is entered through the suction side and released through the discharge side at the angle of 90 degree that is radially. That's why it is called radial floor pump. Now, Axial floor pump. In an axial floor pump, the impeller pushes the liquid in a direction parallel to the pump shaft. Axial floor pumps are sometimes called propeller pumps because they operate same as the propeller of a boat. In this picture you are looking that liquid is being discharged in the parallel direction to the pump shaft. That is axially. Now, mixed floor pump. Mixed flow pumps have characteristics both radial flow and axial flow pumps. As liquid flows through the impeller of a mixed flow pump, the impeller blades push the liquid out away from the pump shaft from the pump suction at an angle greater than 90 degrees. 
In this picture you are looking that liquid is being discharged partially in axial direction and partially in radial direction. That's why it is called mixed flow pump. In this diagram, you are looking clearly the flow diagram of the radial flow pump, mixed flow pump and axial flow pump. Now next classification, single stage pump and multi stage pump. Single stage pump. A centrifugal pump having only one impeller is called single stage pump. You are looking in the picture of single stage pump. There is only one impeller. That's why it is called single stage pump. Now multi stage pump. A centrifugal pump having two or more than two impeller is called multi stage pump. You are looking in the picture of multi stage pump. There are more than two impellers. That's why it is called multi stage pump. Now, next classification. That is horizontal pump and vertical pump. Horizontal pump. A centrifugal pump which axis of rotating shaft as in horizontal plane is called horizontal pump. In the picture of horizontal pump, you are looking that the axis of pump shaft is in horizontal direction. That's why it is called horizontal pump. Next, vertical pump. A centrifugal pump which axis of rotating shaft as in vertical plane is called vertical pump. In the picture of vertical pump, you are looking that the axis of rotation of the pump shaft is in vertical direction. That's why it is called vertical pump. Now, I stop this session. I shall tell you about its parts in detail in the next part means next video. Thank you for watching. I hope you understand well. If you have any doubt then tell me. I shall solve your problems. Thank you. Have a nice day.